We all have those places in the world that we've always wanted to visit. For a very long time now, Portland and the surrounding area has been one of mine. On our recent Pacific Northwest road trip, we spent four nights in Portland, exploring and getting a taster of what Portland and Oregon has to offer. I don't know whether it was the amazing food, the beautiful scenery, or quite simply, all of it put together, but we had an amazing time. Here is what we got up to. So after a, I think it must have been about a three and a half hour journey, we have just arrived in Portland. We've just checked into our Airbnb and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's so quirky and it's all done sort of Japanese style and we're here for four nights. So we're really excited to have a little bit of space after spending quite a lot of time in like hotel rooms and stuff. But yeah, it's just so lovely. We're really excited. To Who wants donuts for breakfast? So Portland is known for its donuts and one of those brands is Blue Star. So show us what you got. So we got a maple salted what? bacon one. Maple salted bacon, that sounds <laughs> gross. Yeah. Raspberry. And then yeah. these are the safe options. And these are the safe ones. This horizon, it's shining. Seems the daylight knows this is our time now. So we thought we would come to see Multnomah Falls, which is a big waterfall. A and yeah, Ren's a little bit grumpy. He's not an explorer today. And uh, we thought we'd come. <laughs> He's not fussed by waterfalls. And we thought we'd come early to beat the crowds, but the world and his wife decided to come early as well. This is our time now. heading to a, another waterfall. This one is called Lateral Falls, but uh, it's suddenly got quite rainy, hence the sexy cagoul. much fun. We were the only ones that actually went to the base of the waterfall, probably because we were mad, but it was fun, wasn't it? It was good, I really enjoyed that. That's probably going to be one of those moments I remember forever. But I'm very wet now, I've got a wet bottom. Yeah. Have you got a wet bottom? No. Have you got a wet bottom? Oh, you're taking a picture. <laughs> Come on. So we headed back to our Airbnb for a little bit just to freshen up because we were very wet and bedraggled. We had nice hot showers, washed hair, well the kids did. And now we're heading off out to obviously one of the Portland food carts to grab some lunch. Late lunch actually, it's like nearly quarter to three. And then I don't know what we're going to do after that. <laughs> This 
full of food carts all just in random other places. It's really cool. So we're now in downtown Portland and we're going to a place called Powell's City of Books. So apparently Powell's is the biggest independent bookstore in the world. It's absolutely huge. It operates one whole block of Portland and I promised the girls, their Auntie Emma gave them some pocket money, so I promised them that they could go in and they could each buy a book so it would remind them of our holiday. We don't really tend to do shopping that much on holiday but we thought we would make an exception for this because it looks amazing. He started with hello on a summer afternoon I lost myself and everybody else when I found you And is that going to be your special one? I told you That's that lovely. I loved you, you weren't ready yet But I had all the time you needed to be here till the end How gorgeous is this one? This one's also on sale for $12 but it's an atlas, but then it's got all sorts of different languages. So look, this is Gabriel, he speaks Spanish. This is a used Dr. Seuss book, and look, Camilla, you sparkle in every room that you're in. You're a great helper and a student and a good friend. You'll be as famous as famous can be with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. on the beach sadly it's cloudy but it's still beautiful you can see the Sun sort of behind the clouds a little bit and this is the famous haystack and it was where the Goonies was filmed when it comes to you there is no question something deep inside me knows when it comes to you no guessing every day of the Everything started making sense when you walked into my life. It was obviously stars aligning. There's no to put my hair up because I had serious beach hair but that was fun wasn't it yes I really enjoyed that it was good it was worth the sunset wasn't as good at sunset sunrise wasn't as good as I hoped um, whereas we were driving here it was so foggy and I was thinking we've got no chance but it did clear a little bit but it wasn't as good as I hoped but it was still fun Cannon Beach is quite cute though. Cannon Beach is really really pretty and we're gonna go for some breakfast now we want pancakes we haven't had pancakes all holiday so we're gonna look for some pancakes so it's much 
later on now, I haven't filmed for ages. We drove back from the beach, it took a couple of hours and then we went for some lunch at McDonald's and now we've come to a place called, what is this place called? Oxbow State Park or something, Oxbow Regional Park. Apparently it's a nice place to swim in the sandy river. So that's what we're gonna go and do. Just gonna chill out in the sunshine for a couple of hours because everyone's quite tired. So we're just gonna relax. So hopefully it'll be nice. It was a sunny day when you knocked upon my door. Oh, I got a different kind of feeling, the kind I never had before. I thought this was quite the coincidence. Then you blushed, and I felt my cheeks flush as well. What a perfect, what a perfect way to spend the day. Just dreaming. We're back in the car now. That was such a nice afternoon. We were there about four hours, just sitting in the sunshine, paddling. We're sweaty now and tired and grubby. I just got changed like in the fresh air. There's something about being naked, isn't there? Changing naked, like by the car. Just felt free, naked and free. And now we're heading back to Portland and we're gonna grab some food. Yes, Ren? We can be nothing. We can be nothing. So we were gonna stop and go out for some pizza on the way home, but myself, Ren and Maddie all fell asleep in the car and we decided there was just no point going out for pizza when we were all probably a little bit tired and ran the risk of everyone being a bit grumpy and we'd rather just save our money. So John went to the supermarket, got us some snacks. We've come back to our Airbnb and we are gonna relax for the evening ahead of another day of exploring tomorrow. It's Sunday today, we've had a very slow start to the day. This is tomato and strawberry sorbet. Good? I'm around when you finish work I know you haven't heard from me is that nice? Yeah, it's got sprinkles on it. Is it cold? Why do children like climbing on things so much? Rennie, we didn't come all the way to America to climb on here for hours, did we? We got these at home. We got these at home. Hey, we're having a tour of Portland's railings. <laughs> we're just stopping at another one. <laughs> Today is not going to be a productive day, I don't think. <laughs> That's okay, because when you travel with children, you need to lower your expectations. So we're currently having a wander around and exploring the Nob Hill area, aren't we? Are we having a walk? So we've come to Washington Park, which is Portland's huge park, and there's lots to do here. I think we're going to go to the Rose Garden Festival. Baby, you were right and I was wrong. This They're playing hide and seek. This Oh, 